how would you react to the statement that the electronegativity of nitrogen on polling scale is 3.0 in all the nitrogen compounds? Honestly, we will not react very kindly. We would say that that would be a very gross approximation. When Pauling declared that nitrogen's electronegativity would be, would be around 3 on Pauling scale, well, it means that nitrogen is quite electronegative, that is okay. But please understand that nitrogen is differently hybridized also in different atoms. What does that mean? It means that, uh, say, for example, if you have ammonia, now ammonia can be a very lovely molecule, I don't deny that. But then, Please understand that ammonia contains nitrogen, which is sp3 hybridized. Now, same nitrogen, if it appears in pyridine, just take a look. This is sp2 hybrid nitrogen. So, would this nitrogen have same electronegativity as sp3 hybrid nitrogen in ammonia? No. And say, if I have CH3CN. This nitrogen is sp hybridized. <coughs> so, first of all, one must appreciate that the electronegativity of nitrogen keeps on changing with hybridization. Is that so? Yes. And that's all? No, that's not all. The first point is when you see the electronegativity of nitrogen on Pauling scale, beautiful though it may be, but have, we have to be very clear that this is recorded on the yeah this is recorded on the basis of few molecules like ammonia NF3 whatever but at the end of the day electronegativity is not something which is a constant entity electronegativity keeps on changing with number one hybridization And number two, charge on the atom. What does that mean? Nitrogen atom is electronegative, that's fine. But what about, say, in case we have Na3N, we have Na+, plus, and we have nitride ion. Now, I hope you remember that nitride ion also contains nitrogen atoms. Can I say that the electronegativity of nitrogen in this case would be 3 on Pauling scale? No, of course not. Why? 3 refers to a neutral atom or an apparently or nearly neutral atom of nitrogen. The moment nitrogen acquires a negative charge, it becomes very quickly electron rich and if it becomes electron rich, it rather would start releasing electrons than donating electrons. Electronegativity sharply decreases with increase in negative charge. As a matter of fact, nitrogen with minus 3 charge on it would be highly electropositive. It would tend to donate electrons. Why? Because it's already so rich. So electronegativity also depends on charge on the atom. As the positive charge on the atom increases, electronegativity increases. And as the negative charge on atom increases, electronegativity decreases. So 3 is a kind of very idealized value. I would not say that 3 is something which can be applied blindly absolutely anywhere. But yes, these two are the, you know, really major factors which are going to affect electronegativity as well.